All right, it's day two at NAB 2024, and the name of the game is Lighting. We're gonna be taking a look at a lot of the new lights that are coming out uh, this year, right here at NAB 2024. Now you might be wondering, what are we doing outside the Atomos booth if we're talking about lighting? And that's because they just announced their first light. It's called the Sun Dragon, and it's a RGB AW flexible LED light. It has 99% CRI, 98% TLCI. It is weather resistant and waterproof up to one meter or three feet. It can be controlled wirelessly through Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and is compatible with both wired and wireless DMX. I could really see this being great for indie filmmakers who are looking for something like a Swiss army knife when it comes to lighting. It's a string light, so you can use it in tight spaces where you need it to be very flexible, or you could use it in its case and now it's normal light. And let's not forget that it's also RGB AW, so it's incredibly accurate and you can make just about any color that you want. Last but not least, you can control these lights from Ninja recorders. That's right, Atomos plans to update their Ninja operating software so that we'll be able to control these lights in the future. Lots of great tools for filmmakers. Looking forward to seeing what they do with it next. All right, we're here at the RE booth checking out their new L series lights, the L5C Plus and the L7C Plus. The L series lights were already extremely popular in the broadcast world, but they received a lot of very noteworthy updates, including the Sky Panels Classic Controls, a new light engine, RGBW functionality, and Ethernet to be controlled over IP networks. Now, if you're from the cinema world and you want to have access to these lights as well, you don't have to worry because there is an adapter that will allow you to still use five pin uh, DMX controls. Ari has really put a stress on making these lights very easy and simple to control. So whether you're using them for broadcast or for cinema, uh, IP or five pin DMX, uh, these lights are gonna be very easy and intuitive to operate and have a lot of great features. You can't talk about amazing lighting without bringing Aperture into the conversation, and boy, do they have something amazing this year. Today, we're taking a look at their Infinity Mat system. That is their 20 by 20, 8 by 8, 4 by 4, 2 by 4, 1 by 4, and 1 by 2 light panels. Uh, these lights are designed to be uh, expandable as well. You can connect multiple lights together. Uh, you can see above us that we have a giant 20 by 20 panel system uh, lighting this entire area right now. One of the cool accessories for the Infinity Mat system is their inflatable soft boxes. These inflatable soft boxes just make it really quick and easy to get uh, your lighting set up. Whether you're dealing with something as small as a one by two panel or as humongous as this 20 by 20. And the benefit of it is that the grid, when it's attached to this uh, inflatable softbox, doesn't sag because it's wrapped around uh, the inflatable softbox. So it really keeps it rigid. Another really impressive update that Aperture is bringing to market this year is their Citus Link Pro app. This is an upgrade over their Citus Link app. Uh, that will grant users access to control any DMX light. That's right, any DMX light, wireless or wired, because they're also bringing to market a Citus One, uh, which is an attachment that you can attach to any DMX light from any manufacturer so that you can control everything. I could really see filmmakers and content creators having a ball with Aperture's new lighting setup because it really seems like they cover just about everything now. They have Fresnels, they have tubes, they have light panels, they have massive light panels. Whatever kind of lighting you need, it seems like they have it in some LED form. All right, so we're here at the Nanlite booth checking out some new lighting from Nanlite and Nanlux. So over here, you can see all the different sizes of the Pavel Slims that Nanlite has now. There's a one by one, two by one, two by half foot, which is new four by one and a new two by two light. You know, this really gives filmmakers a ton of flexibility to choose the right size to fit their needs. We got the FC 500C and the 300C right over here. The FC 300C and the 500C are what I like to call the Goldilocks kind of lights. You know, they're right in the middle. Uh, they're a very popular range of brightness for a lot of filmmakers to use uh, in indoor environments. These lights are gonna be extremely popular amongst filmmakers uh, because they're that right level where you 
you can still power them off of batteries. You know, they got two V-mount batteries on this 500C here. Uh, you can probably get away with one on the 300C and you get a ton of flexibility because you can really take it wherever you want. All right, for the alien lights that are right behind me, they've updated the interface on the ballast to give you a lot more visual control, which help with dialing in exactly the right color that you're looking for if you're going for some RGBWW action. They're very rugged. Uh, they're IP55 rated. And for the ballast, they even come with a raincoat to keep them nice and protected. Nanlite has really kind of stressed that they want their lights to be used in all sorts of different environments. So these lights are very flexible and easy to use in a lot of different scenarios. Last but certainly not least, we have the Astra IP series from Light Panels. Light Panels offers these lights in a half size, a one by one, and a two by one and they are all IP65 rated. What I really love about these lights is how tough they are and how easy they are to operate. I mean, even just hand holding it from the yokes just feels very natural and easy to do with these lights. The philosophy of how they designed these lights is that they were really listening to camera operators. And what they found is that a lot of people just wanted a simple light that's easy to use and doesn't cost a ton of money. The dial is very familiar and easy to use. You can press it in to kind of jump between different uh, popular brightness settings or color temperature settings. Uh, and when it comes to specs, light panels really just made sure that all these lights are very consistent across the board. All the lights have a beam angle of 30 degrees and color temperature range from 2700 to 6500. And as far as brightness goes, when daylight balance, the IP half is 1500 at 10 feet the one by one is 3,000 lumens at 10 feet, and the two by one is 5,500 at 10 feet. It also comes with a diffuser, a uh, dome to go over the front to add some extra level of diffusion to get really nice soft lighting. Uh, so I think this is gonna be really popular amongst camera operators who just need a tough light that's ready to use at a moment's notice. And that's a wrap on lighting for NAB 2024. There's a lot of great options that are out there, a lot of IP systems for controlling lights across the network, a lot of IP rated lights for using them in tough scenarios. So let us know what you're super excited about when it comes to lighting in 2024. I'm Jabari with B&H. Have a spectacular day.